Northampton in search of the program's 12th win on the year, as well as the 62nd all-time in its meeting against Catasauqua. The K-Kids got out to a strong start, scoring on their first possession, traveling 91 yards down the field, and finishing on the four-yard connection with Nino Russo and Tristan Pinnock to go up 7-0. Kids then took advantage of a caddy turnover on downs. Russo and Pinnock only needed one play for 74 yards this time to double their lead. Now up 14 zip with a minute left in the opening quarter. Pinnock never slowed down in this one after the Ruffies got on the board with a Christian five field goal. Pinnock punched it in from two yards out, giving the home team a 21-3 cushion just five minutes before the break. Northampton's special teams did struggle a bit, which is where Caddy would capitalize. Thanks to a high punt in the Northampton turnover, Phi will punch it in from one yard out on the keeper to make it 21-10 at the halftime break. Northampton took care of business in the second half, scoring 21 of the game's final 23 points. Jalen Richardson found the end zone on a punt return and snagged his 11th career interception, tying a program record. And Pinnock walked away as your Northampton MVP thanks to five total touchdowns on the day. Kids went on to beat Caddy by a 42-12 final score. I mean, it's great to just come out here and have one last game with my boys. I'm going to miss all my seniors. It just, things happen to play out pretty well for me today. I mean, those guys have always been my family for the past three years. I love these guys. I'm going to do all I can to send them out with a bang. And is, this is just going to set the tone for next season. We're here, we mean business, and we're going to get right back to it. Uh, it definitely means a lot. Uh, I got to play one more game in orange and black and uh, play on this field. So it means a lot. I had a great time with these, go, go. these coaches and these seniors. And... Um, it's time to say goodbye. This senior group leaves the field on a high note for their very last time in their eighth consecutive win against Catasauqua, going 24-2 and in the last two seasons, leaving an unforgettable impact on the returners and the underclassmen. Man, I'm glad I got to some, meet some of these kids. Some of these kids look up to me like, I look up to you, and it just makes it hits, hits me there because it's like I made an imprint on these guys, and then that's, that's all that matters, just to know that I came back for one year and lead this team to another great season. It's like nice. It just feels good. On the scene at Allardyce Stadium, I'm Cassie Schmidt reporting for the FC Network.